Well, hello guys, it's Donna again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my Flavor Twisters doing today? I hope you are doing well. What we're going to do guys today, we are going to just make some stir fried like green beans and butter and garlic. And what I have here, I have whole green beans. They were frozen. But these are the um, fine, petite green beans. They're real thin. And I just love these guys. They cook up so nice and tender. And I have over here eight slices of bacon that I cut up. And I also have some minced garlic. So what I'm going to do over here, I have... A stick of butter and plus two tablespoons. Now what I'm going to do with that, I am going to take a tablespoon of garlic, the minced garlic, and I'm going to add that to the skillet also. Okay, there we go. Get this to stir, and what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to add to add the bacon right to the skillet because I want the bacon and the butter to infuse together, and believe me, that will flavor the green beans really well. Okay, and what I want this to do, the bacon is to start cooking and browning a little, and we'll add our green beans. Now what I'm doing guys, I am separating the bacon in the skillet so it'll cook kind of evenly in the butter. Okay, I don't want it um, too brown, just lightly brown, just so the fat will render off into the butter and that'll give it such flavor. Now see how this is going guys? I'm just gonna give the bacon a slight flip. It's not brown, but it is cooking pretty good. It's not really gonna to get too brown because I don't wanna burn my butter. But I just want the bacon flavor infused in the butter. And it will continue cooking some more once the green beans get in. Now, what I'm going to do I'm going to add the green beans. Okay. Let me pick this up. See how nice and fine and thin these are? And these are 16 ounce bags. And um, I have three of them because I have family coming over. So two bags wouldn't have been enough. And they will cook down. You'll see how they render. Now, let's give that a stir. Okay. Now let's add a little seasoning to this. Now what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to add two teaspoons of onion powder. Just sprinkle it all over. When I do my green beans like this, I don't necessarily want the onion in there. I just want the onion flavor. Very good. And I am going to put one teaspoon of garlic because I do have the mixed garlic in there. Okay, now let's give these a stir. Okay, give my toss here. I got tongs, it's a little bit easier to maneuver with these green beans. Mmm, yum. Okay. Now 
now let me let these go for a few more minutes and then we'll add some salt and pepper now I am going to add a tablespoon of seasoning salt and if we need to we can add more later but this should be enough And let's get some black pepper. Okay. I wanted to do my green beans like this because I'm already going to have mashed potatoes with my meal. So I don't, I don't want to put potatoes in it. And this is a good alternative. Okay. Now I'm going to give these a toss. Mm. These really look good and they smell good too. Now let me put my spoon again. And you can see the butter down in there. But I'm going to add just a little bit more. Okay. Now I have three more tablespoons of butter I am going to add to this. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to do is just let this simmer in here until our beans begin to cook real good. They'll cook down and they'll be ready, guys. Just cook them until they're tender. Now I have my fire on, let me see, it's on medium. And I'm just going to let them go. And you know what, guys? I do not have a lid big enough for this skillet. So what I'm going to do is cover this with some foil. When you do this, make sure you have um, a lid to fit your pot or your skillet. This skillet's so big, I don't have a lid big enough to fit it. And one didn't come with it, so. Now what I did, I covered it with foil. And I'm gonna turn this down on a medium low and let it go for about 20 minutes. Okay guys, what I did, I let this go for 40 minutes. And like I said, cook them to your desired tenderness. And look at this, guys, and you can see the butter. Okay. And look at this. Let me show you how nice and tender this is. Look at that. Look. You can see how nice and tender that he tastes. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Woo! Hot. But, guys, these are so good nice and buttery and garlicky and um you could taste that um bacon fat in the butter and it's just infused all over the green beans so make this for your family guys um this is a good alternative if you don't want to use potatoes and i don't like my green beans in a lot of juice i just like them in butter and look at that so, this is a good way if you're just making butter green beans and garlic green beans. And you don't have to put the bacon in it if you don't want to, but the bacon gives it so much flavor. So, I like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll be alerted of all the recipes that I upload. Or you could go to flavorswithatwist.com and get the recipes from there. So... Here's another delicious recipe, guys, that you should try for your family. So, 
have a very happy holiday. This is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.